In this video, I'll show you how to check if you qualify for the Evmos airdrop and how to claim it. Go to app.evmos.org, the link will be in the description, and connect your wallet. There's two options, Kepler and MetaMask. In this case, I'll be using MetaMask. Right here in the middle, it will show you how many tokens you are eligible to claim. And if you are, click this claim button and let's follow the process. There's four steps we got to do. But before we do all these steps, we got to add Evmos Network to our MetaMask. And for that, we will use Chainlist.org. Go to that site and search Evmos in the search bar. And then just click Add to MetaMask, Approve, and switch to that network. Now you can go back to Evmos.org and continue this process. Now, I've already completed two of these steps back in March when the Evmos network went live for the first time. That's why they're showing up as completed for me, but they're very easy to do. The first one is vote on a governance proposal. And to do that, just go to the governance tab right here and pick any of these four proposals and just vote on them. Let's do this one, for example, click vote. And it doesn't matter how you vote, it's just the fact that you vote that counts. So just pick, I'll just do yes. Sign the transaction that pops up and it should say successfully broadcasted right here. Once you've done that, go back to claim rec drop tab and that should be completed and you should have some Evmos tokens in your wallet by this point. The next step is staking the tokens that you just got with a validator. To do that, go to the staking tab, click all validators and you will be presented with a list of all the available validators at the moment. It is kind of important which validator you pick here because it could determine your eligibility for any upcoming airdrops from the projects on the Evmos chain. Since Evmos is an IBC chain, it's pretty much a tradition for upcoming protocols to reward the stakers of the network. And some of the protocols may prefer rewarding stakers that chose a smaller validator simply because if everyone just stakes with, for example, Disperse, the network will be less decentralized because this validator will have the most power. So what I would suggest you do is pick a validator somewhere in the middle, somewhere in like in the 20 rank, uh, for example, I don't know, Stake Lab, something like that. Make sure they have a, some certain commission. Usually it should be 5%. Make sure it's not zero because sometimes that disqualifies you from airdrops as well. So once you've picked the validator that you like, click manage, then click delegate and enter the amount that you wish to delegate. I'll just do one for the sake of the example. Sign the transaction that comes up. And if it's successful, it should say successful broadcast right here. I didn't actually sign mine, so it says user denied. Then once you've done that, go to claim reg drop tab again, and we have two more tasks to do. Now, the third step is actually impossible to do at the moment because IBC transfers for Evmos are not live just yet. So currently you will only be able to claim 75% of your airdrop because of this. So just skip the step and let's move on to the fourth one, which is just using the EVM. Now, there's two ways to complete this. You could either send some of the Evmos tokens that you just got through Kepler or MetaMask to another wallet or you could use one of the dApps on the Evmos network. If you pick the second option, I suggest you use Diffuse Finance, which is a decentralized exchange on Evmos. The link will be in the description. Now, all you gotta do here is perform a token swap. I'll just do an Evmos to Vevmos swap, which should have no slippage. Just click wrap, and then confirm the transaction that pops up. One thing to keep in mind is that the network is currently congested because everyone else is also trying to claim their airdrops, so it may take a while for your transaction to confirm. The first time I did this, it took around 45 minutes for the transaction to confirm, and just now it took around 3 minutes. So just be patient, and as soon as it confirms, you will have your Evmos in the wallet.